Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you guys are all doing blessed. I pray you guys are well and awesome on today. Happy Saturday. Amen. Happy weekend. Get some rest. Be filled with God. Be fueled in the spirit so you can go back um, to going about the rest of your week. Amen. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about conquering the land. Amen. Hallelujah. As we all know, um, in the story of Joshua, well, even going back to Moses, um, there was a promised land that Moses was supposed to get to. But if we fast forward to Joseph, there was the same promised land that, uh, I'm not Joseph, Joshua, there was the same promised land that Joshua was supposed to get to. And he did get to it. Thank the Lord. Moses didn't get to see the promised land, but Joshua was able to walk into the promised land and possess the land. Thank God. And so there is a land for each and every one of you guys that God is bringing you into. Uh, for a lot of you guys, your season changed. You are walking into a new season. And that is why some of you guys are experiencing a lot of warfare. And um, you're experiencing a lot, a lot of stuff maybe it's coming it's being thrown at you maybe it seems like all of a sudden your resources may have dried up but rest assured hallelujah the brook dried up for elijah so that he can go to another place when the brook dried up god gave him an instruction to go to a new place where there was provision and so i want to encourage each and every one of you guys that if it looks like things are coming up against you and things are going crazy and it looks like things are drying up say ask the lord Hallelujah. And say, Lord, is my season changing, Lord? Hallelujah. And some of you, you already know your season changed. But for those of you who are unsure, maybe you think that these things are happening because it's you, it's your fault. Ask the Lord, say, Lord, did my season change? And Lord, what is the next step? As I said with Elijah, hallelujah, the brook dried up and God gave him um, the instruction of where the next provision was going to be. And so you have to be very keen in the spirit in this season to know where the instruction of the next provision is going to be. Be listening to the Lord, listening to what God is saying about that next instruction, where he wants you to go. Amen. Uh, this is for, it doesn't matter who you are, Christian, lay member, pastor, entrepreneurs, hallelujah. Many people who, um, watch my broadcast happen to be entrepreneurs and so you guys really really need uh instruction as to what business moves to make what business moves not to make you know who to partner with who not to partner with and things like that and so i just want to encourage you that even though you are in a season you are transitioning from one place to the next trust the lord and consult the lord remember if any of you guys watching listen to my youtube weekly bible studies and weekly discipleship videos you'll know that um I recently did a study on the spirit of counsel. And so if you are not going to God, who is the spirit of counsel, um, then you will have a few hiccups or many hiccups along the way. Amen. And so I encourage you to go to God, the spirit of counsel, before you make any decision, but especially uh, big, life-changing um, decisions, uh, things that can change your relationships, things that could change your um, family, things that could change your ministry, things that can change your job or your entrepreneurship status. Um, begin to go to the Lord and consult the Lord because we want to make accurate moves in this season. Amen. Accurate moves. Of course, people make mistakes. Of course, you know, sometimes people, um, you know, they do things by accident, make mistakes. But my encouragement for you is to Consult the Lord about everything and be so short up in the spirit, so short up with the instruction of God's word. Elijah heard the word, hallelujah, when he even went to the place to get provision first and foremost. But then the brook dried up, the provision from the brook dried up, and then he was given instructions to go to another place of provision. And he heard the word and he was short up and he was fed in those many instances. Amen. And so... I want to read a familiar scripture to all of you guys. Call It's Romans 8 and 28. And it says, and we know, key word, know. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. To them who are called according to his purpose. I'm going to read it again. Romans 8 and 28 says, and we know that all things work together for them that love God. To them who are called according to his purpose. Do you love God? Are you called according to his purpose? No matter what warfare is coming from this way, that way, up, 
there. Some of you, it's like everywhere you turn, you turn to the left, you turn to the right, you turn, you look up, you look down. It's like there's warfare coming at you. Do you think there would be warfare coming at you like this if you were not, hallelujah, in the right place with God? Do not let the enemy confuse you and make you think that you are all uh, out of whack right now unless hallelujah unless of course you've been indulging in sin then yes you have warfare that is legal and has legal rights to be there because you're indulging in sin but i'm talking to these people who've been walking down the path of righteousness and your season is changing and so things are happening the enemy does not want you to walk into that place where god is trying to take you um the enemy doesn't want you to walk into that new. The enemy doesn't want you to get into the promised land. There were so many setbacks. If, if we go to the Old Testament, there were so many setbacks from the people entering into the promised land. Many of the setbacks were their own selves. They allowed the enemy to control their mind and their heart to the point where they prevented themselves and, you know, their their family members and their, you know, all that stuff like that. They prevented themselves from going and entering into the promised land. And then you have, when Joshua's time comes, you have the spies preventing, almost trying to prevent people from entering into the promised land. Amen. And so, hallelujah. You have to get to a place where you say, Lord, nothing is going to prevent me from walking into your will, from walking and staying in the will of God. Hallelujah. From walking and staying in your word, from walking in and staying in you. Hallelujah. You must be so, 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 so precise, so short up, so knowing in your knower, like this said, and we know that all things work together. That warfare is going to work together. Hallelujah. For for you because you love the Lord and you are called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. I'm going to say it again. That warfare war will work together for you because you love the Lord and you are called. Hallelujah. According to his purpose. He's a good God. He is a good God. He is a good God and his word is true. His word is true. This, this that we read is not some random history book. This word is true. And pull on this word. When that warfare comes, you need to have enough word in you and the word in front of you right before your eyes to be able to counteract the tactics of the enemy. That is one reason why some people fall and some people don't. Because some people do not have enough word in them. The psalmist said, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. So when you have the word hidden in your heart, it counteracts sin and it's, it's, it's like you have a fuel. Hallelujah, you have a fuel so you're not walking in this sinful lifestyle. You're not giving into these temptations that the enemy wants you to give into. Hallelujah. You're right on the brink of the edge. You're right. You're in a transition in the spirit. You're in a transition. Hallelujah. And so you don't want to do anything that's going to cause you to go backwards and have to double back and have to do the same thing over and over. Just like the children of Israel. They had to do the same thing over and over and over and over and over for things that could have took a shorter amount of time. It could have took just a number of days. They took years to get to because of this continuous cycle this continuous thing and so you don't want to be in the same position as the Israelites where for something that could you could be entering into now in the spirit and in the natural it takes years and years and years because you have to double back amen and so hallelujah pull on the scripture Romans 8 28 and we know see this is something you have to know that all things work together for good that means that warfare that the enemy is trying to get you to take personally so that you sit down instead of continue working for the Lord you sit down and put your business down so you, you're not going to um, do your business anymore. You decide you're not going to go to your work to, to work in the morning because you're so tired of the enemy beating you up. But no, you need to know that every single form of warfare, hallelujah, will work to good, for your good to those who love the Lord and who are called according to his purpose. You have to know this because when you know it, you are going to stand. Hallelujah. When you know it, you're going to say, oh, that's just warfare. You have to begin to know. And like I said, ask the Lord. Ask the Lord. Hallelujah. Ask the Lord. For, he's the spirit of counsel. Ask the spirit of counsel. Lord, give me counsel about this situation because I don't want to get this one wrong. I want to walk into what you are calling me to walk into so I don't have to double back and make an 11 days journey into being five years. Nobody has time for that. You don't have time for that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the scripture I also like, hallelujah, is <clears throat> verse 30, verse 36. No, you know what? I'm going to read, hallelujah, verse 31. That's one of my favorite scriptures. So I'm going to read that too. 
I wasn't planning on reading that, but I'm going to read that too. And it's Romans 8 verse 31. It says, what shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Listen, what shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? That Listen, you got to know in your knower that that scripture is the truth. When the enemy comes in like a flood, you got to know that God is for you and that he will raise up a standard. See, so many people, they fall right when they're on the brink, hallelujah, of entering into something new and entering into a new season. Right when they're on the brink of what they were fasting for, they're on the brink of that breakthrough. This could be spiritual breakthrough or natural breakthrough, hallelujah, because God comes through in the spirit and he comes through in the natural. And so uh, sometimes when you're on the brink of something, some people give up because they they, they they feel like God is not for them. And when the things are coming up against them, they think that mo- what's more real is what's coming up against them. And they forget that God is for them. They begin to, it's now a lack of knowledge that God is for them. When it should be a multiplication of knowledge that God is for you. Amen. And so what shall you then say to these things? If God be for you, who can be against you? Stand. Many people, like I said, many people fall because they don't know that God is truly for them or they begin to dwindle down and stop believing that God is truly for them. God is going to do what he said he's going to do. God is who he is all the time. Yesterday, he's still the same right now who he was five years ago when he first saved you, still the same who he's going to be when you pass on to the next life and go on to glory. He's still God. He's still God. Hallelujah. He never changes. You might, but he doesn't. Hallelujah. His faithfulness don't change. Yours might. Hallelujah but he's not going to change. But to the scripture that I was planning on reading, hallelujah, it's verse 37, Romans 8 and verse 37. And it says, nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. We are more than conquerors through him that loved us. This is a a factual statement. We are are not oh we're gonna be and oh you might be and maybe have you ever thought of yourself like no it's 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 a factual statement we are it says nay in all things all things all things we are more than conquerors hallelujah last season you were more than a conqueror this season more than conqueror caesar season you entered to more than a conqueror hallelujah in all things don't ever let the pressure of the enemy cause you to feel like you are not a conqueror don't ever let the pressure of the enemy make you feel like you have to give in and do what the enemy wants you to do like i said that is a sure way to end up doubling back and when you thought you were going to walk over that brink hallelujah you thought you were going to walk over that brink into the new thing. Now you're back and then you you over here looking at everybody else who's walking over. They all in a whole nother place and you still back here. You still back here on the other side of the tide. Still back here. Hallelujah. That's not God's plan. His plan. He's a God of multiplication. He's a plan of people moving forward. Not people staying stuck. Not people going backwards. He wants people to move forward. God is trying to use you for his glory. But you have to be so keen in the spirit of the tricks of the enemy to that it try to hold you back. And one thing about the Israelites is the enemy tried to hold them back with their mind, their feelings, their emotions. Hallelujah. Their mind, their feelings and emotions. Sometimes when we say attacks of the enemy, people think that uh, you got to get into a full blown car accident or somebody has to physically die or um, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes if he if he knows he can get this, your mind, your emotions, if he can get that and some people, they 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 lose the whole race. They lose the race. Because of what's what they believe that has been planted in their mind. It's been planted in their mind and they begin to believe it. So they begin to walk in it. And so now their emotions are all mixed up and jumbled up. Don't ever let your emotions yield to the way of the enemy. Hallelujah. Let you keep your emotions in check. You better wake up in the morning and speak over your emotions. Emotions, you shall submit to the will of God. You shall submit to the will of God. Thoughts, you are going to line up with the will of God. And if one decides that it wants to veer off, I cast down. Hallelujah every false imagination that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. And I bring every thought into subjection, obedience of Jesus Christ. This is a serious thing. It's a serious thing. Do you need to take 10 years? Hallelujah. 
how to, let me just put it in the biblical perspective. Do you need to take 40 years for what could have taken 11 days? Let's, let's just, just, just ponder on that. Do you need to take 40 years for what could have taken 11 days? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fight the good fight of faith. I understand the enemy, he's trying to come in like the flood, but it says God will raise up a standard against him. This is not a suggestion. It's not a it's not even a hope. It's the truth. He will raise up a standard. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so you need to know. These are things you need to know. See, that's why it's 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 pivotal to not just read the word of God like you're checking it off of a checklist, but you need to read it and know it. Hallelujah. So when you get in situations, you're like, no, 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 I'm more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. No. What then shall we say to these things? If God be for me, who can be against me? And you can say, no, 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 no. I understand the enemy is coming up around me. He's coming in like a flood, but God has raised the standard. And then you can say, oh, oh, okay, I understand. And I see what the enemy is doing, but you see why I have this joy on my face? Because I know that all things, hallelujah, all things, not some things, but all things work together for good to those who love the Lord, who are called according to his purpose. So here's the question. Are you called according to his purpose and do you love the Lord hallelujah are you called according to his purpose and do you love the Lord and like I said I don't care if you're a, if you got saved yesterday if you're a lay member if you are a pastor if you're a traveling minister if you're an entrepreneur and you know God uses you in that fashion whatever the case may be the word of God still applies to you it doesn't just apply to some it applies to to you whatever it is hallelujah make sure you stand firm hallelujah the enemy he, there's no prosperous bone in his body if you can get that if you can get that hallelujah there is no prosperous bone in his body there was nothing prosperous about the enemy nothing prosperous about him hallelujah amen there's nothing prosperous about the enemy and even when he tries to make himself look like he's prospering you got to know that you know that you know that there is nothing prosperous about him that's why no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper hallelujah because all the weapons against you are from the enemy the weapons aren't from god hallelujah so you got to know let's pray Father God, I just give you honor. Hallelujah. I just thank you, Lord, for your grace. I thank you for your word. I thank you, Lord, for every single person who you have watching this live or who will watch it on the replay, Lord God, the, whatever the case may be, God. I just ask that you cover each and every one with your precious blood, Lord God. Let your strong arm, hallelujah, be their salvation. Let your strong arm, hallelujah, cover them, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. God, I ask that you protect each and every one of them, oh God. I ask that you just, hallelujah, let your, your, your comfort fall upon them like never before in this season. But Lord, let them go to you as the spirit of counsel. Let the spirit of counsel, God, begin to, to just, uh, uh, teach hallelujah teach them in this season of everything that they need to do God let your spirit of counsel show them the instruction God as you showed your servant Elijah God let your spirit of counsel begin to show them as well God for we know hallelujah God that they are more than conquerors God and they will go hallelujah to the other side of Jordan they will go hallelujah to the other side of the promised land hallelujah they will not be stuck on that side where they just looking over seeing stuff Stuff. hallelujah but they will be able to go in hallelujah to the season to the thing that you need them to go into God and every single hindrance of the enemy shall be refuted by the word the will and the plan of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and I ask Lord as you prayed for for Peter God that that same prayer be re released upon these people God that their faith will not fail them even as the enemy wants to sift your children as weak God but that hallelujah their faith will not fail fail them God that they will know that your word is true they will know that all things work together for good to them who love the Lord who are called according to his purpose that they will know that nay in all things they are more than a conqueror that they will know that hallelujah that they that nothing hallelujah nothing 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 is impossible with Jesus Christ 
I thank you, God, and I seal this prayer in the matchless and undefeated name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. I pray that that word has blessed you. I pray you guys are having an awesome um, weekend, an awesome Saturday. Get some rest. As I said before, get some word in you. God is so good. He's so faithful. I love you all. And you know I love to preach the word of God. You know I love coming on here, giving you a word, giving you a teaching, giving you encouragement, whatever it is that God tells me to release. Hallelujah. God is faithful. You guys all have a blessed and prosperous rest of your day today. In Jesus' name, I love you guys with the love of Christ. But Jesus Christ loves you more. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you too. God bless you too. I pray that the word, hallelujah, really blessed your spirit. If it has, share it uh, with your friends on social media. Share it with your family. Share it. Let people know, hallelujah, that the word of God is going forth and that there's a word for them. Amen. Be blessed. Hallelujah.